All right, fam, what's going on? It's Fetty G, baby, with SSK Kennels, and it's that time, fam. It is that time. It is getting hot, hot, potato hot. Hot potato one, hot potato two, hot potato three. It's that type of hot now. So this is the first stage of us keeping our boys clean. It's go ahead, fam. Go out and get you a kiddie pool. One, two, three, however many you feel you need for your yard. Go out and get it, fam. Right now I got two, but I might eventually get three, y'all. I just reseeded back here. Uh, <clears throat> plant down new grass. So hopefully we praying to God that that catch and grow. We reseeded all of this spot over here. All behind the dog cages and on the side all over there. But we are trying to keep these bulls clean. And it's fun for them when they loose. You know what I mean? When they loose, they get to really enjoy themselves. Have fun. And they love these pools, fam. I'm talking about love, 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 love them. So we got two back here set up. Um, and, and this is one of the things, fam. If you got grass and you want to keep your grass. Like today, once I let the dogs out, this water will get super dirty. So I'm going to dump it today, right? When I dump it. I'm not going to leave this pool right here on top of this grass. I'm going to lean it up over there on the deck somewhere so that way it's not drying out my grass or leaving uh, stains in the grass and killing the grass. That's what I don't want to happen. I'm actually going to bring this one down so I don't like high up on this hill. I know it's still on the hill, but it's better than what it was. Oh, shit, that might be worse, man. Damn! But... It is what it is. No, nah, I'm gonna pull it back. I'm gonna put it back where it was at. Ugh. And you also gotta be careful with these pools too, man. You know what I mean? You don't wanna leave them just sitting in the sun, fam. Cause the sun will, will tear them up like crazy, fam. So, no, I don't want you right there, boy. I want you this way, boy. Oh, that water in it, boy. That boy got that brush on him. It is what it is, man. It's going to be hard for me to get it off that hill, though. But you see, that one is more flat. This one is really on the hill, though. I ain't going to lie. I really, really, really don't like it on that hill. Matter of fact, we're going to move it. Fuck it. We're going to move it, man. And that's what water running that one. We're going to move it. A little bit of water. It is what it is. I'm going to put it over here. It's more flat over here. Yeah. I like that way better. It's way more flat right here. Then it is where it was at. And that's how I want it. Flat, fam. So, all right. Move this hose over here. Put water going over here. Uh, but yeah, fam. I'm going to go over all the ways to keep your dog cool today. This is one, fam. Get you some kitty pools. Fill them up so when the dogs is loose, fam. They could jump in these pools. This is an amazing way to cool your bulls off. Plus, it's fun, fam. You know what I mean? I got some toys, some little, uh, they're on the other side of the yard. No, actually, I'm not going to put toys because then they're going to want to fight over the toys. I ain't going to do that. We're just going to do water. That's it, right? Another thing you could do, fam, I'm going to show y'all versus me just trying to tell y'all. Look at this. Look at this. We're going to throw that in there. Fuck it. Somebody will stick their head under there and get it. I'm going to show y'all versus tell y'all. So this is stage one, right? Stay with me. Stage one, I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to show you another thing you can do to keep your dogs cool. All right? So I'm going to... This is stage one. Get you some kiddie pools, fam. They cheap. This shit was like, I think, uh, like 15 bucks at the store, each of these. 15, 16 bucks, something like that. Depending on where you're at, they might be cheaper, fam. Don't leave the water in there fam once you finish with all the dogs and they run and they plan it dump the water out lean the tub up against the gate on the wall somewhere hell you can even put it on top of the dog on top up there but don't leave it down here fam don't leave that same nasty water in there they done stepped in poop you know what i mean and stepped in it you can cause so many different things with your dog being they're gonna drink some of it it's gonna be dirty right you and that's why i'm trying to get grass all back here at least so that way it's not muddy back here so that's my goal. You get what I'm saying? So, stage one. Stay with me. I'm going to show y'all another thing you can do that will really help cool your dogs down on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to be right back, fam. All right, fam. I'm back. That video we was doing the other day, fam, on how to keep your dogs cool, we back at it. And all this will be part one, fam. All of this will be part one.
I ended the video, and then right after that, fam, like a little bit later, it started storming. And it been storming every day since. So I don't know, you know, who all really tapped in, but yesterday I didn't upload nothing. But today we back. So <clears throat> we got the pools, right? And that, as y'all can see, like it was real life storming this whole time. I done planted seeds back here, grass seed. Man, it done washed all my shit away. I'm low key pissed off, but it is what it is, fed. Deal with it, let it go, move on. <laughs> But so yes, get you some kiddie pools, right? The second thing you could do, fam, is literally just get you like a sprinkler. Get you a sprinkler system. And when the dogs run around, cut it on, let the dogs run around, play in it. Also, you can set the sprinkler system up to where when you cut it on, it sprays in the dog cages. So even if you want to cut it on, When the dogs are in the cage, I'm sorry about that, y'all. Even if you want to cut it on when the dogs are in the cage, set it up to where the sprinkler can wet the dogs up and that'll keep them cool. You can get an above ground sprinkler or if you got an in underground sprinkler system, put it on the timer, fam. Put it on the timer. It look like we about to get some sun, y'all. But literally, these last like three days, it been storming pouring down rain and lightning and thunder even y'all seen on the live it was thundering and lightning so bad the lights cut off at the house well they flicker and they went on and off on and off but get you a sprinkler system if you can't get a sprinkler system fam before you let your dogs out get your water hose wet the whole yard up if you got dirt it's fine wet it up if you got grass that's even better fam wet it all up so the dogs can come out and have something cool to lay on you know what I mean? If you don't have grass and you just want to put some down, go get you some wheat straw. Uh, some wheat straw, throw it all out over the yard, wet it all up. It'll hold some of that moisture. And when the dogs play and lay on it, it'll help keep them cool, fam, right? So wet everything up, get a sprinkler system and a water hose. What I'm going to do, fam, this will be part one. I'm going to show you all some other tips to keep your dog cool. Fam, it don't have to be cute. Don't be running around here like, oh, I want it to be perfect. I want to get a missing system. I want to get this perfect, fam. Just get something out so your dogs don't die. Do something so your dogs don't die. Even if you ain't got that, if you ain't got the money for a sprinkler system, if you just got a water hose, fam, if you home, if you at work, you got a lunch break, come home during your lunch break. Spray all the dogs with the water hose. Put it on shower. See the water hose off right now. See, that's jet. Put it on shower like that and come out here and spray all the dogs. Spray their decks. Give them fresh water. Do stuff like that to keep them cool throughout the day, fam. You want to do something to keep these dogs cool, okay? Super, super important. Now, again, all of this information is in part one. I will release a part two, fam, on some other things you could do. So, please, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure you notified. I mean, you hit the notification bell. So that way, when I do release the next video, you get notified and you could be one of the first ones to get that information, fam. Um, again, first, get you some kitty pools, fam. You could get two, three, four, five, however many you want. Get you some kitty pools, set it up throughout the yard. And when you let the dogs out, they can have pool to jump in, swim in, and play in that water. And it'll help keep them cool. Next thing, get you a sprinkler system. Keep your yard moist, wet. The, I'm telling you, if you got grass, it's a whole lot better. Dirt is, eh, it's dirt. But grass is way better, fam. If you got grass, that's the ideal way to have it. You want grass, okay? Also, fam, don't let your water... See, this is just a bunch of twigs in here that fell from the tree, right? But don't let your water get black to where you can't see the bottom of the damn pool and then you still letting the dogs out to go play in the pool. You get what I'm saying? Dump that water out. Get you some new water in there, fam. All this is just twigs from the storm. You know what I mean? That fell from this tree, fam. So I can literally just throw those out. All that came from that tree up there, fam. So don't let your water get black. Every time you let the dogs out and they play in it, once you put all the dogs up, fam, dump that water and get you some fresh water up there. Ghoulie, what up, boy? Ghoulie. 
also y'all as some of y'all know i've been using the shot collars but i'm gonna have to get away from the shot collars because if you leave the shot collars on too long fam they mess up the dog's neck fam so i don't know if it's another way or another different type of shot collar you can use but i even spoke with some of my mentors and some of my peoples and they like yeah any type of shot collar you leave on too long fatty is gonna start to irritate their neck and it'll mess up their neck so I'm going to have to get away from them shot collars. But again, family, this is part one on how to keep your dogs cool, fam. Also, make sure whatever roof you got, and I'll talk about again this again in part two, it's thick enough to withstand some of that heat that's coming through that's penetrating the roof. If you just got a little thin piece of plastic up there, fam, that heat coming straight through that plastic, and it's going to beat down on them dogs. It's actually going to make it even harder, fam. I mean, hotter. Because that plastic or that is trapping that heat in there. So, make sure you don't have, like, you see, okay, like, this cage over here, this cage over here, you see how I got these tarps on the side of the cage, right? It's because when the sun come up right through this gap, it beams on this cage like crazy. So, I put this tarp to, to block some of that heat. But if it wasn't for that, fam, I don't want no tarps up because I want as much air ventilating through these cages as I possibly can get, fam. Um, so keep that in mind, too. You want as much ventilation as you can get. Family, I hope this information helped. Again, this is part one. I will release part two where I'll give you all more information that will help you out for sure. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you notify to the channel so you can get that update. I'm going to be back, fam.